Hi there, welcome back to Simon Says. My name's Simon, and today I'm going to show you a brief introduction to how I create dashboards in Home Assistant. So recently I created a video explaining how to monitor the performance of a Raspberry Pi processor, looking at temperature, disk use, memory use, etc. And there'll be a link to that video in the description below. And the next thing was that someone asked me, how did I create this dashboard with gauges displaying this information? So it's going to be a quick video just showing how I did it. So what we do is we go down to settings and we go to dashboards and you can see I've got a couple there and we want to create a new dashboard. So we'll add dashboard and we'll call this the Pi Performance. Per Performance. There we go. Spelling's not too great. There we go. So we're creating a new dashboard. All right, and there we'll go. Pi Performance, brand new dashboard. Now what we do is we go to the top right corner here and we go edit. So you'll see as a default, the dashboard pulls in all the information out of your Home Assistant. But obviously you don't want all of this. So we're gonna go edit dashboard. We're going to stay start with an empty dashboard and we're gonna say take control. Now we have a clean page in front of us. So there's two ways that we can do this. Um, the one is just to create gauge cards. I love gauge cards. They're really good for displaying information and you can add different colors to display where you're at um, on that gauge. Um, the other thing I'm gonna do is show you how to grid, create a grid, which will contain multiple gauges. So let's go first of all and add a gauge. So what we do is we search for the gauge card G A, there we go, it comes up. And it's already pulled in the disk usage. Okay, so let's leave it at that. Um, and if we scroll down here, we can go and we can select, there's no themes available, but we can select um, ways to customize this gauge now. So if we go display as needle, that adds your little needle there. And this is quite cool, define severity. So if I put that on, See, it's gone red there. Now we can go and we can select. So this is a percentage, obviously, 0 to 100. So we might say green would be up to maybe 35%. Uh, yellow might be up to 60%. And for red, maybe we're going to 90%. And you'll see there it's now created blue, green, orange, and red, which is a really cool way of doing it. So we go save, and there we go. So you can create multiple gauges like this just by adding cards. But the other way to do it is to put these gauges in a grid, which means you can get multiple gauges in a small area. So the way we do that is we go add card and we select the grid card. There we go. Once we've selected the grid, we now select how many gauges or cards you want inside there. So I'm going to say I want three. So that's great. And then I'm going to search once again for my card. So we're going to go gauge. There we go. You can select a gauge. Um, and then you go plus to select your next one. You can say that's a gauge again. And your third one. So another plus and another gauge. And there we go. Now you can individually go to each one of these gauges. And you can customize it like we did the last time. So give it a needle. Give it severity. And start customizing it. So this is how easy it is to create a grid card or a gauge card to display the information from your Raspberry Pi. That's all for today. Have a great week. Bye for now.